What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. This is, well, my name is Leon and this is XP to Level Up where I give you the experience that you need to get to the next level in your life, okay? Whether that be with your fitness goals or with life in general. And guys, do we have a special, special video for you today. I'm going to be breaking down the foods that I eat on a daily basis to stay in shape year round and I'm about to absolutely obliterate what you think dieting is. And how, it, how am I going to do that? You might ask. Well, if you look at the foods in front of you, you may see, see a lot of things here that you're questioning yourself. How the hell can I eat foods like that and still lose weight? Well guys, once I go through and explain all these foods to you, you'll understand that dieting is not so hard and restrictive and miserable as most people make it out to be. And thus, your goals are a lot more easily attainable than you thought they were, okay? So, to give you a, a brief overview of what I'm about to do for y'all is I'm about to break down each one of these foods that, that you see in front of you um, and explain them to you. And, and then afterwards, I'm going to take you to my kitchen and, or to my fridge and freezer and show you the foods in there. So um, I can also show you the kinds of things that I eat that have to stay frozen and refrigerated. Um, now guys, uh, a, a brief disclaimer, just because um, you are following any diet, okay, whether that be restrictive or not, um, you have to understand that there still has to be a level of um, discipline that, that goes into your, your uh, portion control, okay? Just because you know, you may have a food that's very low in calories, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can still overeat it, okay? Now, you may be able to get away with overeating some of these foods more than others because of how low calorie they are, but at the end of the day, guys, you still need to have that border control, um, and, and you still need to have that level of, of discipline and, and be tracking your calories, okay, especially if you're new, all right? Um, so anyways, guys, let's get started. Thank you uh, so much again for tuning in. And if make sure that if you guys get anything from this video, if you get any kind of new food ideas, any kind of knowledge at all that you didn't have before you watch this video, make sure to click the like button, comment below what shocked and amazed you for what you thought that you couldn't eat, that you can't eat, and make sure to subscribe for future content um, related to this and other mind-blowing fitness tips and tricks, okay? So let's get started, guys. So let's get started with some popcorn, guys. Popcorn is um, loved by many people, okay? Popcorn is, is a staple in snacking. But um, unfortunately, with most popcorns out there, whether that be most brands at the store or especially at the movie theater, they are just packed with a bunch of chemical um, crap and fat in it to make the calories in it out of this world, okay? So this popcorn, guys, if you can see, is Orville Redenbacher's Smart Pop. Now what's incredible and smart about this popcorn is the fact that for these, now keep in mind, these are the snack size, okay? Um, usually I like to get the, uh, the full size, but they're, for some reason, they're hard to find in uh, stores. So I tend to just get these from Amazon, you can get like a pack of 12 boxes of these that will last you for a good while, um, for like, I think like 25 or 30 bucks or so. And um, guys, each one of these bags popped, fully popped, okay, has 100 calories, okay, that's like nothing. Now popcorn is one of those things that it's very hard to um, to, to overeat and binge, binge because of the fiber in it, okay, there's a lot of fiber in it, and when there's a lot of fiber in something, it's going to make you feel full faster. And that's going to be a trend that you're going to see throughout this, guys, is fibrous food, okay? Because fiber and protein are the keys to making you feel satiated and full, okay? So make sure that you're getting fiber and protein in every single one of your meals, and you'll realize how much easier um, it is to eat less than you thought, okay? So now, I don't like regular plain popcorn, guys, so I have these... Um, uh, seasonings here. These are uh, just different flavorings. There's um, these aren't the only flavors either. You can get you know um, other flavors, but these are like less than five calories, guys, per serving. So you can just slather it on there, no problem. Make it taste however you want to taste for little to no calories. Okay. So guys, now bread. Okay, this may be a shocker to you, but bread is not off limits. Okay. I know that there are a lot of fad diets out there that tell you. Bread is off limits. You shouldn't be eating bread. 
okay, because of the carbs and whatever. But guys, I let me tell you, I eat five slices of bread every day minimum for my breakfast because I make French toast every day. And as you can see, I'm not suffering because of it, right? So guys, but the key to, to eating bread is to get low calorie regular white bread. Not that fancy ass 9, 10, 12 grain bread that's got all that, sh that crap added into it, okay? That's what gives it a whole bunch of calories. This is just regular plain white bread and it's 70 calories per slice, okay? So five times seven, you do the math, it's not a lot of calories for a breakfast and it's phenomenal, it tastes incredible. So guys, now we, we have cheese. Now again, you may think to yourself, what, cheese? I didn't know that I could eat cheese. Yes, you can eat cheese, but you need to be getting the reduced fat cheese, okay? Now, there are some cheeses out there that, that, that you can find in certain stores that have little to no fat, but this is reduced fat, um, and this is going to be the most abundant, um, you know, source of cheese that you're going to find that's lower in calories is, is the reduced fat. Um, I use cheese in a lot of things that I cook all the time. And so I, I, I didn't want to sacrifice it, and so I just found lower calorie cheese, and now I'm good. So, but again, guys, make sure that you are looking at the nutrition label, okay? Learn how to read nutrition labels, okay? Serving size, one fourth cup equals 70 calories, okay? So, make sure that, you, that you're counting out those one fourth cups, because if you just take this bag and you just sprinkle it all over your, your food, okay? You're probably gonna have a, a, a lot more calories than you expected, okay? So don't do that. So I also have um, ultra thin sliced cheese as well, guys. These are three slices, it's only 120 calories, okay? That's super low. Um, so I add these to my sandwiches, to um, whatever I feel like having slices of cheese on and it's not killing me with the calories, okay? So then guys, kind of going in, into the, the snack area here, we have rice cakes. Now, guys, rice cakes are very popular among bodybuilders because of how much they fill you up because of the, of the whole grains for how little calories, okay? Literally, these ones, which are flavored, by the way, the lowest calorie ones that you're gonna find are just the plain ones, which are like 35 calories a cake. But a cake is about this big, guys, okay? It's about that big. And for that, for these chocolate ones, they're 60 calories, okay? And, and they taste great. So, I mean, these are just phenomenal to have, like, when you want a snack, but you're, you know, close to your limit for the day, but you just want to snack on something, rice cakes are the way to go, guys. Super tasty, super low in calories. So, chips, guys. And you're like, what? Chips? Yes, chips. But what's special about these guys is what? The size, okay? Portion control. These bags are only 150 calories per bag. So if, if I'm craving chips, but I don't want to end up binge eating an entire bag of chips, boom, portion control, laid out for me, easy, okay? Just eat one or even two of these, you'll be just fine. Now, what we got here, guys, we got salt, okay? Big shocker here for those that think that sodium is gonna kill you, okay? Sodium is not going to kill you, okay? But let me just squash that myth right now. Sodium is um, literally how it works, guys, to just break this myth for you. Literally, when you eat too much sodium, your body just processes it through your uh, kidneys and you end up just peeing it out, just like water, guys. If you drink too much water, you pee it out. If you eat too much sodium that, uh, or salt, that salt is broken down into water in your body and peed out. It's that simple, guys. It doesn't make you gain weight. It doesn't make you gain fat. It, none of that. And salt is zero calories. So again, guys, calories in, calories out. Let me say that again. Calories in, calories out, guys. That is the only thing that you need to understand to lose weight. All of these fad diets out there tell you, oh, there's all these different details and little fine prints and all these different things that are designed to make your life more miserable, okay, when you could just understand science. And science says calories in calories out if you are in a calorie deficit i don't care if you're eating ben and jerry's all day if you're in a calorie deficit you will lose weight okay i don't care if you're eating pizza all day if you're in a calorie deficit you will lose weight okay so don't forget that guys calories in calories out that simple okay so going forward 
I have uh, tortillas here. I love tortillas. I love to um, wrap things in general. I just love the taste of a tortilla wrapped around something. I'm sure that, that you can relate if you like, you know, like burritos or tacos or whatever. I love tortillas, but what I love about these guys is that these are fiber tortillas. Again, fiber is so important. Okay, I can literally eat just one of these tortillas plain and it'll make me feel full for like an hour or so, okay? So, fiber tortillas, okay? Make sure to get the fiber tortillas. Um, so guys, then we have over here, we have the My Whey Protein, okay? This is pretty self-explanatory. Self um, whey protein is, you know, I feel like a essential part of someone's diet, especially if they're trying to build muscle. Um, but but even if they're not, just protein alone is such a hunger stimulant, guys, just like fiber, that if you include a solid form of protein with every one of your meals, okay, which by the way, that, that does not mean to count how many grams of protein that, that, that you're eating. If you eat four to five meals a day as a man or two to three meals a day as a woman and you include protein in those meals, like an abundant source of it, you will get the amount of protein that you need, okay? There's no need to do all that tedious work of stressing and counting every single gram of protein and carbs and fats that you need to eat, okay? It's just, it's simple. You, you have a source of each and every one of your meals and you will get um, the desired amount. So, um, going forward, we have bananas, okay? I love bananas. I eat bananas with, with my breakfast. I eat bananas with my protein shakes. Bananas are great. Um, one banana has about 100 calories in it, so yeah, that's pretty much explained. Um, and then speaking of fruit, berries, okay, berries are a incredibly um, important, uh, healthy carbohydrate, okay. Um, not only are they good carbs, but they are packed with vitamins and minerals um, that, that your body needs. Um, I love to get berries in in the morning because they help me kind of give that boost right right before my workout. Um, so yeah, berries are awesome. Okay, so moving on, baked lays, guys. Again, if you're craving chips, and let's say you're just having that day, like, like oh man, I had a hard day today. I just want to lay back in bed, watch a you know binge watch a TV show on Netflix, and just eat a whole bag of chips. Baked Lay's, guys. Now, what's so special about Baked Lay's? Baked Lay's have reduced fat. So less fat equals what, guys? Less calories, okay? So I can eat this whole bag, and it's only about six to 700 calories. Now, that's still a lot, but it's, it's less than most chips out there, okay? So if you are going to have a cheat or a binge, pick a more responsible option, guys, okay? So moving on, oatmeal, okay? Oatmeal is such a versatile food, okay? When I first started my fitness journey and I didn't know anything um, about the foods that I do now, um, oatmeal was one of the first things that I started with because I knew it had fiber and I knew it had good carbs, okay? And these only have um, 140 calories per packet, so two packets is 280 calories, give or take. And guys, that's super small for a breakfast that's gonna make you feel full. If you add some berries to it, okay, easy, simple, easy, takes you three minutes, um, and you got a solid breakfast to start your day, okay? So guys, moving on, we have um, buy antioxidant cocoa fusion drinks, okay? These are only 10 calories, 10 calories, guys. If you were to drink one of these, if you haven't before, and taste it, you would not believe that there's only 10 calories in this. Like, how do they put this much flavor in such little calories, okay? but buy drinks guys these are not the only flavor that they have they have plenty of of uh um of other flavors out there for the same amount of calories so make sure to give these a try super good okay uh, moving on we have syrup now again this may shock and amaze you but one thing that makes syrup such a uh a crappy food for you is the sugar guys a lot of foods that you eat out there that are sweet are packed with sugar some things that you don't even think are packed with sugar are packed with sugar. And sugar uh, puts in a lot of artificial calories, okay? And you don't need that. Again, we're going for lower calorie alternatives. So the next time that you're at the grocery store and you want to eat something um, that you like but you want a lower calorie version of it, look for the sugar-free option, okay? Sugar-free original syrup, there's only 15 calories per two tablespoons. And then 
Um, I have this other semi-empty bottle here, because this is my favorite kind. This is Carrie's. You can find this at like Target. These, uh, Carrie's has only five calories, okay? Five calories per two tablespoons. And I think it tastes better. But anyway, so moving on, we have sweet tea, guys. Sweet tea, I love sweet tea. And if you love sweet tea, you are gonna be so hyped to find out that Gold Peak Diet Tea tastes almost even better than the sugar-filled sweet tea, okay? So make sure to give this a try. This is one of my die-hard go-tos, guys. I love sweet tea, and when I see this at the store, especially if they're on sale, I clear out their whole stock. I'll bring like six to eight of them home, okay? Because I, I just fly through these. Okay, so now these right here, guys, these are game changers. Walden Farms, okay? Remember that name. Walden Farms sauces, syrups and sauces, okay? Um, I have chocolate here and I have maple syrup, okay? These are zero calorie sauces, all right? Zero calorie sauces, I know, unheard of, but these will change your life. You can add these to anything that, you, that your heart sees fit for zero calories, okay? Who, do, who doesn't want something like that? So guys, now we have, um, her, this is just Hershey's uh, cocoa powder. I like chocolate a lot, guys. But as you know, lots of chocolate products out there, excuse me, especially, you know, like candy, you know, products and stuff like Snickers and all that stuff. They just have tons of calories for little to no satiation, guys, um, uh, or fullness. But if I want to get some chocolate in and I'm craving it, I'll just add this to like my protein shake or whatever that I'm cooking um, or, you know, whatever. And it'll give me that great chocolate flavor for... 10 calories per tablespoon, okay? Um, so, another huge game changer, guys. Make sure to get a look at that label right there, PB2, okay? PB2 is a absolute game changer because now peanut butter um, has a ton of fat in it, guys. Peanut butter make, uh, the fat in peanut butter makes uh, it very thick and um, that's also one thing that stands out to me too because a lot of people, including uh, myself that I've worked with in my fitness endeavors, um, I've noticed that a lot of times when people want to put you know, peanut butter in anything, whether it be their protein shakes or whatever the case, they love peanut butter, but they don't like the thickness of it, okay? Like the thickness just makes it very hard to digest. It makes it feel like, oh, in your stomach, and it's just, it's just, it's just not comfortable. So this is phenomenal because um, what what makes this special, guys, is the fact that it's uh, peanut butter without all the fat, and it's a powder. It's 90% less fat, so it's only 60 calories per two tablespoons, okay, which is not much at all compared to regular peanut butter. And you can add this to a lot of different things, and it's much thinner, so it's much smoother to um, digest. And so it's just a total game changer. I, I, I use this every day, okay. Uh, moving on, we have pickles. If you love pickles, keep eating pickles because pickles have like less than 10 calories um, per serving, okay? I eat pickles with a lot of things. I make sandwiches with pickles all the time. Yeah, pickles, but anyway. So guys, finally, uh, oh wait, no. We got some sugar-free ketchup here. If you love ketchup, don't have to give it up, but you do need to get the sugar-free version, okay? This has a, a lot less calories. This has 10 calories um, per tablespoon, okay? 10 calories per tablespoon compared to I think like the 30 or 40 or so of regular ketchup, okay? So guys, finally we have diet soda. Now you, I'm sure that you, you, know, you guys in the comments are gonna kill me over diet soda because it's diet soda and there's this huge, um, this, this article that, you know, that came out back in the day saying that diet soda is gonna kill you and give you cancer. Um, and guys, be that as it may, I don't care. I like pop and I don't wanna sacrifice pop, so I just drink diet pop. Why? Zero calories, guys. What have I been saying? Calories in, calories out. I would rather eat a little bit unhealthy compared to the, you know, the healthy foods that I do eat and be, you know, have, have that little variable than um, you know, not be able to enjoy the foods that I love, okay? And still be in shape and not gain or lose weight. Now guys, before we go to my freezer and fridge, I eat these foods every day in abundance, guys, in abundance. And I have not gained a pound. I have not gained a pound and I have not lost a pound. I have maintained my weight for months, guys, months. So um, I hope that from this section alone that you've got some 
good tips, but now I'm going to take you guys to my fridge. All right, let me get this off the charger here. All right. There's my feet. All right, so, so not much more in my fridge, guys, but I, I obviously do have my lean proteins, right, such as chicken and pork, okay? Pork and chicken breasts are like my go-to for protein, pretty much. Um, grapes, nice and fibrous, gonna make you, you know, feel full. Uh, blackberries, which I, I, I didn't show before, but I love uh, blackberries. Um, hash browns, guys. Hash browns are a great low calorie option. Um, packed full of great carbs. Spinach, guys. Honestly, I don't really like to eat greens that much, but I do eat spinach because um, I think it's tasty and it, it's, it's greens. It's got protein in it, um, and you can literally eat an entire bag like an entire bag of, of spinach guys like let's say you just want to make a huge salad with some like reduced fat dressing you, you could just make a huge salad and just eat all of it and, and feel stuffed for like less than 150 calories guys so now going down over here this stuff right here guys i, I highly recommend okay it's a little bit on the um expensive side it's around the same price as um protein powder is you know that 50 to 60 dollar range um but you can get two gallons of these on Amazon for about $84. And guys, these have 26 grams of protein per serving, okay? That is phenomenal. Just imagine, I mean, if you guys know anything about egg whites, you know how versatile that, that, that egg whites are. I mean, you can add egg whites to so many things and just the ability to add that much protein to so many different things, I think is worth it in the value um, alone. So uh, then obviously guys, water, right? You gotta have water. Um, and then guys, um, unsweetened almond milk, okay? As you can see there, 30 calories per serving, unsweetened vanilla, tastes phenomenal, barely any calories, okay? So we got that. Then guys, we have things like zero sugar Gatorade, get some quality electrolytes. I like to mix this stuff with my like creatine. Um, it tastes really good. Um, then I have stuff like, you know, just regular egg whites, and then I have sugar-free blackberry jam, okay? Again, sugar-free. Um, more of the diet tea there. Um, and then just stuff like just different condiments like mustard, more pickles. Oh, butter spray, guys. This is important, okay? If you like butter, you don't have to sacrifice butter. Just get butter spray. Zero calories, as you can see. And so that's it for the fridge, guys. I'm moving on to the freezer. And I think that this is going to shock you guys, too. But look at that. A whole bunch of ice cream. But what brand is that? Halo Top. Halo Top is the lowest calorie ice cream. I also have these Cold Stone, um, or no, Stone Ridge Creamery uh, Smart Pints. But guys, these most of the time have always less than 400 calories for an entire pint, guys. Now, if, if you're like me, you, you know, I cannot open a pint of ice cream and only eat like half of it. If I'm going to eat a pint of ice cream, I'm going to eat a whole pint of uh, ice cream. So this is only 300 calories, guys. So, I mean, that's just self-explanatory. I mean, if you haven't uh, dabbled in some Halo Top, start now. Um, and so I also have some Halo Top Pops. Um, these, don't mind these, these are, I got these when I was working in concrete for a while and it was just kind of like an easy go-to, but as you can see, the calories are ridiculous for what they offer you, so don't, don't take that, just pretend that that's not there, but I have some more protein on, on standby in the freezer here, ready to de when I need it, and yeah, guys, that's about it, so, so again, here, hold on, let me get you guys set back here, all right. So guys, in closing, okay, and again, this is just, this is just a small example of the kind of foods um, that you can eat if you just put the time into looking into lower calorie options, okay? And lots of foods that you find at restaurants and things that, uh, of that nature, a lot of those things can be prepped at home for like a fraction of the calories, guys. So bottom line is, here, let me get into my laptop here real quick. So guys, the bottom line is, if you just have a little self-awareness and you put in a, a little time and research, 
You don't have to sacrifice all of, of, of the foods that you love to eat. You just have to get lower calorie versions. Lower calorie versions, guys. Not lower carb, not lower fat, not lower whatever, okay? Lower calories, guys. And once you unlock that secret and you start to build a diet plan that, um, that you don't work for, but it works for you, that is when you unlock the golden ticket to diet, you guys. That is when you unlock something that you can use not for 30 or 90 days, but for a lifestyle or a lifetime, guys. Okay, and that's the key. Um, because so many of these fad diets, which, which I will explain it uh, further in a different video this week, um, but fad diets, guys, they're designed to be temporary, okay? They are not designed to last a lifetime. They are not designed to be followed for more than a certain period of time, okay? But with stuff like this, okay, pop, tea, chips, right? All the different kind of foods that you love and have, you know, guilty pleasures with, you can still eat without, you know, gaining a whole bunch of weight, right? You just gotta be smart about it, guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, if you learned something today, please make sure to leave a like. Um, comment down below uh, what you learned, what foods that you are excited to know that you are able to eat now, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for uh, more content related to this and other things, um, and just the overall healthy progression of life. So yeah, again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.